So what have we been up to recently in May and June at Global Ocean? May has been a great month with lots of projects coming underway and June has seen plenty more under development. So let's just start from the beginning. On the 5th of May we went to the Eco Tales Festival in Twickenham at the Orleans House Gallery. Luckily for us and all the other happy festival goers, it was the first day of sunshine. We started the day wandering through the woodlands where there was plenty of sea creatures hidden around made of recycled plastic materials. A number of different conservation organisations were also present, hosting information on local projects and the threats that plastic poses to our rivers and our oceans. The main events took place in a giant marquee that were run on electricity generated from people on bicycles. I gave a talk on the effects of plastic pollution on the marine environment with a game of plastic pollution bingo to make sure that the shocking facts had sunk in. The day was finished off with the screenings of plastic pollution films that were judged by Sir David Attenborough, made by under-18s in the local area. It was a fantastic, fun-filled, educational family day out and did a great job of passing on the message on plastic pollution. Check out our other videos on YouTube to see more of what went on during the day and my talk. You may have also noticed that I've been carrying around a beautifully designed canvas bag around the woodlands at the Eco Tales Festival. We recently set up a Cafe Press shop where you can get your very own exclusive Global Ocean merchandise, including that beautiful tote bag. And we'll have some more designs up shortly. <laughs> if you've been to a Sea Life Centre recently, you might have noticed the newest edition of Sea Urchins magazine and the Global Ocean Plastic Pollution Special. This educational magazine focuses on seahorses and the plastic pollution problem that we've been focusing on. We've got 12 pages this time round looking at how plastic enters the ocean, what we can do to stop it, how we can reuse it and reduce our use, and also how to make a seahorse out of a plastic milk bottle. We decided to call him Cecil. It also features exclusive interviews and activities with a range of celebrities and is filled with fun facts and activities. If you want to find out more about sea urchins and Global Ocean's work with sea urchins, check out the website or download the app. We also celebrated World Oceans Day this year by heading down to Queen Caroline's Draw Dock in Hammersmith to clean up part of the Thames shoreline. The event was a newly founded collaboration between Global Ocean, Thames 21 and Sea Urchins magazine. It was very successful with 25 volunteers turning up and spending two hours to collect 40 bags of waste around the Hammersmith Bridge. We also found a golf club and a Christmas tree, including its pot. It was great to see so much debris being pulled out from the shoreline before it made its way to the oceans with the devastating effects. The good news is that if you missed that cleanup, we are having another one on the 14th of July. There will be details on our Facebook and also on the Thames 21 website. Come on down and do your bit. We can also finally, which is very exciting news, announce that we will be working with Sea Life London on a brand new education workshop at the Sea Life Aquarium in London. If you're a teacher, you should definitely check this out. It will focus solely on plastic pollution, from which we will be providing education packs that you can take back with plenty of activities to carry on what you learn at the aquarium in your classroom. We also have a few creative projects in the pipeline. We're working in collaboration with Lila Leon, a graduate jewellery designer who has a real passion for the ocean and his jewellery has been made completely of recycled materials and is completely inspired by marine life. Very kindly, she's decided to, that all proceeds from a first sale will go to Global Ocean and towards the education packs that we are developing in our own capacity for the 2013-2014 school year. Alongside this, we are also working with the Not A Drop company who are conducting a 48-hour exhibition in September um, and are putting together workshops. A variety of artists will be submitting their work for, for the event and Global Ocean have also been asked to sit on the judging panel, which is an honour. That's all we have for now, but keep checking our website and our Facebook page and also our YouTube to keep up to date with all the comings and goings of Global Ocean.